Tawania was established in 1986 as the first national insurance company licensed in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to offer across the sectors, including medical, motor, fire, property, engineering, and many others. I sat down here in Davos to talk to the management team about the growth of insurance in the Middle East region, but first I spoke remotely to the Tawania CEO in Riyadh. Othman al Kasabi, great to see you. Thanks for joining us. First of all, give us your overview of Tawunya, its place in the insurance industry and your plans for the future. Thank you very much for having me uh, and this interview. Um, uh, let me start by giving an overview of the insurance industry in Saudi Arabia. As part of Vision 2030 that uh, was announced by the uh, center of the government, the, uh, there is a, a full program for, uh, called the Financial Development Program. Had, multiple promises, uh, one of which was to increase the penetration of the insurance market from uh, at, uh, and the contribution to the GDP from 1.2% uh, to 4%. And, and we're imagining that this is going to increase the market uh, size by almost uh, six, uh, uh, six folds. Um, uh, so Tawani has been always uh, envisioning that by uh, first being where we're the first insurance company on the on the region uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm referring to Saudi Arabia uh, and uh, we have uh, formulated a strong strategy uh, uh, to our uh, business uh, what called strategy 2025 uh, in which we have today um, have, have crafted um, its, uh, its result today. Tawani is the largest insurance company in the MENA region. Um, uh, as a key player, Tawani is actively shaping the future by identifying uh, uh, areas of opportunity and also uh, uh, shaping the future of the industry by integrating digital transformation, AI, big data, uh, analytics and enhance the services and operation uh, efficiency. Also, uh, we are uh, intensifying our commitment to the ESG principles and uh, innovating on the product services of, uh, and the services offered to tailor, uh, to tailor solutions to our uh, clients. Um, our, our four promises uh, in our strategic, uh, uh, this strategic horizon is uh, to have an extraordinary results uh, to be customer centric, to be digital first, and passionate about our people. Mr. Al Kasabi, thanks very much indeed. Yeah, thank you, Andrew, for your time. Thank you very much. Okay, welcome to the studio here in Davos. We've got Director of Innovation, uh, Alfada Albaiz, and uh, Executive Director of Customer Excellence, uh, Jawhaz Al Saud. Thanks both of you for joining us. We've heard from your CEO with the overview of the company. Afada, I wonder if you could tell us a bit about innovation in Tawania. Sure. Uh, in Tawania, we look into innovation at the heart of Tawania's technology. Uh, we're very much looking at our ecosystem of niche and small companies when it comes to innovation. So we always look for new solutions and things that comes around when it comes to insurance. InsureTech, the new buzzword as part of FinTech, is what we're really concentrating on alongside with analytics and data. So this is where we come from innovation perspective. We've had a lot of solutions that we're looking into right now and some that we've already been releasing uh, that are very innovative when it comes to the insurance uh, industry. Uh, us being one of the largest in, in the market, uh, for us we are the leaders in innovation. And Joel here, after what we've just heard, how does all that affect the customer experience? So Tawania is moving away from being a company that serves to becoming a company that cares. And what that means is that although we're expanding and growing across all lines of businesses, we keep our eye on the customer. So Tawania invested heavily in technology, management systems and capabilities that enable us to understand our customer experience and improve it. Uh, we currently follow a methodical approach to, that helped us in identifying our critical journeys, pain points and wow moments for our customers. We also currently implement a, a multi-layered voice of customer management or measurement system that enables us to measure our relative NPS, our relationship NPS, and even down to transactional level CSATs. Having that enables our operations team and our frontliners 
to uh, get or obtain the um, uh, right customer insights at the right time to be able to deliver a, an exceptional experience. So you're both senior executives within the company. Why don't you tell me a bit about women's empowerment then in Tawaniya? Sure. Uh, women empowerment is a uh, major social reform as part of the Vision 2030 for the Kingdom. And Tawaniya, of course, is in support of that. Uh, we have uh, women empowered at all levels of the organization up to the board membership level. Uh, we have uh, we are one of the largest uh, co the companies that has the largest uh, female representation or proportion of employees. We are at around forty percent of female employees within the company. Uh, from our side in technology, we support the technology part when it comes to female, especially in the STEM area. Uh, we have a lot of female within the coding area, especially in artificial intelligence and the data part. So we do support females on as Joaha explained, on every level to the development side. So we're looking forward for having more female empowerment within Taiwanese, especially in the technology part from my end. Great, thank you both very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Matter. first of all, tell us a bit about Tawania and its adherence to the ESG principles. Uh, thank you very much for this question. Uh, actually, we are in Saudi Arabia working heavily on the ESG requirements as part of the national vision of uh, decarbonization initiatives. As we are in Tawania working on a comprehensive framework that integrates to sustainability and uh, happy to announce this, this is for the first time announced for Tawania. We are proud in Tawania as we are the first signatory from Saudi Arabia as a company and the third in the region uh, to, to join the principles of sustainability insurance. Uh, so uh, we are working heavily on the ASG requirements and looking forward to achieve the national vision. SMP Global have upgraded you to an A credit rating. What difference does that make to your operation? Actually, in Taunia, we've uh, achieved strong financial results and strong financial position as of Q3 2023. Uh, now we are achieving uh, strong uh, or improvement uh, in our rating from A- minus to A, uh, driven by material improvement in our capital adequacy ratio and will remain very strong through to 2025 as beer SMB. Abdullah, you're CTO, right? Tell us a bit about uh, the advanced technologies that you use, like blockchain, artificial intelligence, analytics. Hello, Andrew. Uh, so, uh, Taunia, uh, as you know, is the biggest company in the MENA region. And uh, from that, there is a great responsibility for us uh, to lead the insure tech, lead the digital transformation in delivering our services. Uh, one of our pillars in Taunia strategy is to be digital first. From that, Taunia adopted uh, a lot of technologies, developed a digital strategy, IT strategy, and data strategy. Uh, we took our solution uh, to be more advanced. We adopted AI solutions uh, through the customer journeys that we are dealing, starting from their mobile phone apps that we are enabling them how to handle their uh, claims, how to inquire for their services uh, through uh, our core uh, solutions uh, such as underwriting solutions. We have now a full AI models who do verification and who approve and reject and even predict what's uh, expected from each beneficiary in order to optimize the cost and deliver a better services. Uh, and we implemented blockchains, solutions, and uh, even uh, we are doing ecosystem integrations. Uh, we uh, adopted something called Vitality, one of the top tier solutions in the world uh, that track uh, human health, how you be a better uh, how we have a better life, how to practice more, and we track it, and we tell you, and we even reward you in, in, in this uh, solution. This is one of the great examples of AI implementations through our digital uh, channels. And also, give us a few examples of some of the advanced products that you use. Uh, so, when looking to our customers, uh, we understand that they need medicines to be delivered to their home door. How we can do it digitally? 
uh, uh, and we understand uh, their visits to the hospitals, how we individualize our services to them. So we added a, a service called Dawa'i. In Arabic means my medicine. So this my medicine, we know that you have a, a multiple visits. We deliver the uh, medicines to your door uh, with a, a, a tracking digital uh, solution. Another solution that we implemented is Telematics, which is called uh, iDrive. It's one of the uh, unique solutions that has been implemented. Uh, it tracks your uh, driving behavior and it rewards you based on your driving uh, behavior. Uh, on the other hand, uh, we have a, a solution uh, that uh, helps you in planning your trips uh, and rewards you of how uh, uh, if you have an accident, we immediately intervene, we bring you Uber, we bring you a solution uh, uh, to take your car, and we call the local authority to handle your accident, uh, and we deliver more advanced solution of handling the claims as from end to end through our digital uh, channels. Furthermore, one of the our Big segments are the small and medium entities. We provided uh, them a, a portal integrated to their uh, systems so they can manage their uh, additions, uh, deletions, renewals. All those are through a uh, number of clicks to improve their experience. Um, to our key corporates accounts as well, we provided integration solutions through, through their ERPs they can do all their insurance management through their channels. So we are aiming uh, to practice the biggest in the MENA region and the most advanced digital company that leading the insurtech in the MENA region.